What's going on, everybody? Coach Jan here, and uh, Jan, aka Hero Zero and Justice for Hire. We're doing it again. We're we're live streaming on two different channels. On uh, my Tai Chi channel, you guys know me as Coach Jan. On Justice for Hire, you know me as Jan, aka Hero Zero. Justice for Hire is our show, or martial arts show that anyone can join the cast of right from their phone at justiceforhire.app. We're gonna do some. We're shooting an action scene tonight. We're actually shooting. A, we have a big video coming out, so we're gonna shoot a, an action moment. Uh, on green screen tonight, so we're staying in at our place. We got vintage here, uh, day one hero. We got AK Wonder Autumn uh, here on the other side. Like there she is, and um, we are. They both train Tai Chi with me. They both train uh, kickboxing, etc. And we're gonna do a bunch of Tai Chi and kickboxing drills today and uh, now. And I am going to just run them through it and probably look at that. I just, I just got this little. Uh, probably do some Nagong uh, first walk with your gloves on. Actually, I highly recommend doing Nagong with gloves on. Um, so let, let's let's go for that and uh, get a little more light here. I wouldn't have any chocolate muffin unless you were talking about. I thought you would want it after the gym. Of course, I don't want a chocolate muffin after the jump. The good training of the gym. You eat. You I'm, eat during. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do some some neck on. Why, why, why don't you get you guys here and here so we can get a nice shot going? Uh, All right. Cool. Yeah, I know you're, you're fine right there. But well, I can't see you. Well, that, if you stood right there, you oh. couldn't see me. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. All right. So let's um, start up. If you have gloves on, obviously you can't. You're going to energize your fingers in any way, and you're going to emphasize index, middle finger, and thumb, whether you have gloves on or not. Feet shoulder width apart parallel, imaginary string lift you from the top of the head. Relaxation, cascading down through the vertebrae. So the exercises that we're going to do today are going to be more kickboxing focused, and we're going to speed it up. So we're going to go slow, then we're going to start speeding it up. So first, inhaling to the belly. Exhale, washing the color down the arms, your palms and fingertips, giving the sensation of breathing a color. Inhale deep. Exhale, wash it down. Soften. Inhale, breathless the wrists. Exhale, wash the color out. Inhale, draw it in. Interlace the fingers and exhaling down. Soften the knee. Inhaling up. Stretching out of the hips onto the toes. Exhaling down. gloves on, you're going to inhale up, and you're going to swirl the fingers and the toes, looking, do your best to keep your eyes downward to see both your fingers, you're stirring, fingers and toes in the same direction, I'm lifting my leg higher just so you guys can see, but it doesn't really need to be high, this is actually a great exercise, my uh, uh, family seafood would often say this is very helpful, and um, helping you prevent Alzheimer's disease, so really helpful for the brain, for the mind, you want to see both layers of movement, the hands and the feet, and then you reverse it, other direction. And go about 10 times each direction. You're sitting on the, on the other leg. So the, the leg that's on the ground that you're rooted on, slight bend in the knee, softening all the way into your hip. And then switch, exhale, inhaling up. Obviously, this coordination is gonna be really helpful when we start speeding up the movements and being more precise with targets. So stirring. And then reverse it. And do your best to keep your palms up 
as well. Palms up. I obviously have wrist uh, scar tissue on my wrist from birth, so I can't turn my uh, palms all the way up. But your palms ideally are going to be facing up, and the hands are stirring, the toes stirring in the same direction. Switch one more time each side, ten times each direction. And obviously we have uh, mats laid down here, one to, for the neighbors downstairs, but also to create a clear playing area. I highly recommend getting some mats. We've got six of them laid out here. And then switch legs. Inhale up and exhale. And moving the hands, not the whole arm. Switch legs, inhale up, open, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale. Remember, we're giving the breath a color, and that color as you inhale is coming in through the limbs, exhaling down, not through the nose. You visualize the breath catalyzes the visualization as if you're vacuuming up color through the toe and through the fingertips into your belly, the second chakra, exhaling down, pushing it back out the limb, the leg into the ground. Inhaling up, guard, even deeper, exhale down. Inhaling up, guard, exhale down. So you really want to get your check, your guard up, check out, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, open. Notice that my hands open up, so I'm ready to strike. Exhale down. Heel comes down, touches the ground. Don't shift the weight all the way yet. And then, one, two, three. Heel, ball of the foot, big toe. Big toe presses into the ground, opening up. So now I'm balanced. Thigh at least parallel to the ground, if not higher. And then exhale, drop the heel. Not the whole weight of the body onto the heel. Just touch the heel and then shift the weight. Heel, ball of foot, big toe. Inhale up. Exhale down. And shift. Inhale up. Inhale. One more time. Now, pointing my fingers in the opposite direction of my, of my leg. Inhale up. Exhale to center. Inhale deep. Inhale up, exhale. And notice here, it seems like I'm not doing, I don't have a breath coordinated, but I, I'm actually releasing my breath here. And then inhaling up, exhale. Releasing whatever remainder breath I have, deflating. Inhale up, exhale. And I'm bringing my hands and my knee to my center line. This is mimicking the Muay Thai drill for you. Pa, one, two, one, two. So this is a strike to the, to the uh, liver, kidney, spleen, inhale up, exhale to center, inhale up, and notice that this is a variation of just us rotating the legs from outward to in to open up the hips in this direction, but we're being more precise with the breath work and visualization and body mechanic. So really feel the opening, right back to center, feel the opening. So we're going to do some rounds. We're going to do a bunch of rounds and uh, 12. We're going to do 12 rounds, hands on the hips, hollow fists, imaginary string lifts you up. We always do this before our stunt training because the breath work and visualization slowing ourselves down helps us speed up our perception so that when we're working with partners doing choreography, we're that much more sensitive and aware so we can keep each other safe and also to sell, to be able to sell the action to the audience. So we have to be able to be precise and in control. Inhaling up, eyes on the belly button, exhaling down. Inhaling up, eyes on the belly button, exhaling Dragon with its head, exhaling down. And 
reverse it. Breath lifts you up, visualizing the breath coming in and releasing it. Breath you feel like a rope that you're climbing, inhaling up, and exhaling down. New exercise we don't normally do. You're going to take your hands, inhale up, and you're going to exhale. What this would look like if you were doing Kung Fu is you would exhale, pushing the color visualization through both knuckles. Instead of doing that, we're going to exhale and push the hips back and drop the knuckles to the ground. Exhaling down, push your weight on the knuckles and bring one foot back, then the other like you're doing a, a uh, bridge, uh, a plank, and then you're immediately going to come right back up. One, two, inhale up. Inhaling up, exhale, pushing the color visualization through the index and middle finger knuckles of inch or two beyond. Again, if you were doing Kung Fu, like this. Instead, exhaling down, pushing the hips back like you're sprawling. Knuckles touch, one, two, and then back, one, to inhale up, exhale down, knuckles down, one, two, one, two. Super important note while doing this is to make sure that your knuckle alignment, you're training the knuckle, the bone alignment for impact. So when you hit something, you're training the bone alignment that you're going to make, that you're going to connect to it. So you want to make sure you can visualize a line between these two index and middle finger knuckles to your elbow and slight bend in the elbow as it goes to the shoulder. So you're going to have this structure. Inhale deep, exhale softly. No flexing yet. Connect and flex. Hold the structure. And then make sure that your arms are aligned, body is aligned. And come back up. Inhaling up five more times. Exhaling, punching the knuckles down, hips back. One, two. Make sure you feel those two knuckles take the weight of the body. Up on the side, exhaling down, butt going back, hips going back, connect, one, two, and then up, one, two, inhaling up, exhaling down, inhaling up, exhaling down. Two more, and this time if you'd like, sprawl the hips down, back first, and then drop them down, look up to the ceiling. Try to maintain, while the hips are dropping, the alignment in the arms for the weight, and then come back up. One, two, just feel that little stretch. For the dynamism of changing, the rotating on the shoulder, supporting the body weight, dropping the hips down, but feeling the consistent weight distribution on those knuckles, the two knuckles in each hand. And then inhaling up, exhale out, inhale, reach across, exhale, inhale, reach across, exhale, reach behind, and down, exhale, inhale, reach behind, and down, exhale. Take the fingers and thumbs, spin them back and up, palms up, open up the chest, Exhale, thumbs down, and behind, collapse the chest, roll the hips forward as you do this, feel the stretch in the back, inhaling up, open the chest, thumbs back, palms up, arch the back, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, one more. And we're just warming up the shoulders. We're going to spin one hand up, the other hand the opposite direction down. And we're going to go side, inhale, exhale, other direction. Spinning, looking up, the palm I'm looking at is up. Exhale, the other palm I'm looking at rotating up. So, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, stay reaching. And now exhale, extend it even more, 
and then inhale, now you reverse it, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale, exhale. Good stuff. Inhaling these two uplifting heavens. Great, now we can start doing some movements and combinations. Do you have your iPad with your, uh, your timer? Or I just do my laptop also. Yeah, laptop. Yeah. Grab my laptop. All right, so we're going to get some drills in. We'll use a body. You can't use the bathroom with your gloves on? <laughs> should be a challenge. I mean, it would be a challenge. <laughs> You're gonna clean it up? No, I'm not gonna clean it up. I can. Okay. So guys, if you ever have any thoughts, questions, or ideas while we're doing this, et cetera, let me know. Um, always happy to answer them. And uh, I will always look back, normally at the end, because I don't, I don't like just jump in um, to, to questions that much uh, while we're in the midst of, of like focus training, but I'm always happy to. So we're about to do kickboxing drills, but kickboxing drills that are gonna be aligned with the type of, of um, what we're gonna shoot in a little bit. So we're gonna shoot an action scene. We're gonna set up a green screen here in front of all of our comic books. If you have not seen the comic books, I'm just gonna show you, because this is part of what powers Justice for Hire. As you can see, there's all this, uh, all these like, you know, screenplays, uh, spiritual thought from all across the world, different cultures, uh, you know, really cool uh, writing books, and then of course, graphic novels um, from all different types of, of writers, Dogman, I have a son, and it's awesome. And then, of course, regular comic books. Shout out to, uh, to the whole team at McFarland Productions and hey, that, for the great um, work they do at Spawn. Punch that um, Midnight Noir gave Patrick, that can't work for you? Uh, something, something similar, but I want to do something like big, like I'm uh, really referencing what we did with um, what we saw in Sherlock Holmes. Check out, we just watched both Sherlock Holmes movies back to back, too. It's pretty dope. Uh, with subtitles on. First time I saw Sherlock Holmes, I did not like it because I couldn't understand what Robert Downey Jr. was saying. I love Robert Downey Jr. And he mumbles so much in that first film. So it's cool to see it with subtitles and actually enjoy it. The second film, they must have told him to like, yeah, switch it up. It was great. Michael Jackson. Huh. Sure what that is. We're going to watch that later. All right. YouTube. 12 three minute rounds. One minute rest. 12 three minute rounds. One minute rest. Great, here we go. You guys ready? Hi, my name's Enrique. A little no. thing I love. I'm gonna trick us. Okay, you guys ready? Hold on. So, uh, the first exercise, warm up, warm up. And for one minute, we're gonna go jab and jab back. So, jab and jab back. Jab right here. But you jab back at me, right? Actually, you don't know jab to me. Jab to my head. Jab to my head. A little, up, up. A little more. Good stuff. Then again. So, you're gonna block the jab. So, we're actually gonna block the jab by just lifting the arm up. Boom. Or you can you can slap in front and do it again. Boom. So you can block it like here or block it like here. Okay, so we're just gonna go back and forth jabs for a minute and then we'll switch to cross. Okay? It'd be so similar to one person doing the jabs? You're one and then the other. One and the other. Yeah. And jabs could be your left foot forward where you're quite orthodox today. And starting now. Same hand? Yeah. Angle the body a little bit this way. Like here you go. Like two ways too. Okay, go for it. So aim for her forehead. Let her block. And use this one. Okay. Otherwise, slap it with this. Okay. Yep, go for it. We're using the same one for. Yep, yeah, yeah, your left. And really still focus on the on, on breathing through it, body with full body power. So both of you guys. Both of you guys are, are uh, leaving your other shoulder behind. So twist the body. I'm feeling a little close. It's okay. Yeah. Move back up a little bit. Just a little. Yeah. Really make your stance smaller because you're tall. Great. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> Go 
and this just a little, just a little, little block in front. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, feel the drill. All those circles working together. I'm gonna stay with this. And when you take when you take that punch, stay on the front leg and let the pressure spiral down. Exactly. So bang. So the, the posture, take the block, take take it, let it spiral down, and then boom, throw it out. So you're spiraling up and down. each other's forehead. What would you say just my eyes? Like, what? Like, triangle there, right? between the eye line is going to be sh uh, one, two, three. I'll, we'll ten seconds. I'll, I'll, we'll focus. Get that. Soften your shoulders. It's okay to pick them up, but don't keep them too tense the entire time, because otherwise you'll just keep tension there. It'll make you easier to sweep. Okay. Rest. I'll hope they have it twice. I have it twice, by the way. So we're going to go right to another lead, lead um, exercise. Now we're going to do left lead uh, kick. So it'll be kick here, and we're going to learn how to take it. So kick in. Yeah, and that's how I'm turning in. And then I'll tap, and then it's your shit. Exactly. I aim for to cut this way. Draw a line this way as you kick. Go. Good. So it's supposed to bang. Yep, exactly. That's the right way to take it. Good. And obviously, you don't want to take this. You're actually probably going to want to check it or avoid and kick back. But here, you're just conditioning the thigh to take Good. Okay. And come back to your fighting stance when you come down. So, okay. You ready? Go for it. Just uh, I feel like my left shoulder is not worked out without my right. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna do cross next, and then we're gonna do it with the low kick. It was a double block. <clears throat> Slowing it down and really connect, feel the full connection and, and then drop down for both you guys. Okay. Slow it down, feel the full connection. Good. Good stuff. Full connection. Awesome. Feel the full connection. Get your footing, feel strong that you could do anything from that position. I'm focusing on focus the most on nine and you're not. By accident, <laughs> I'm sleeping, so. That's <laughs> So you're doing this with all your weight still on it, rather than taking your weight off, turning, and then dropping. Okay. So this is why we're doing it slow, so you can make all those little adjustments. Okay. Boom. Good stuff.
focusing on my kicking, so like that's why I wasn't paying attention at the time. Yeah. So just expand the, uh, the, the attention to, yeah. to the uh, rest of the rhythm. So, uh, yeah, I'll put the hammer twice. You can roll the legs around, the hips around, and then reverse it. Two, three. And then we'll go cross. So with the cross, can you throw the cross to my forehead, please? Uh, across the body, yep. Yep, really pivot. Pivot that back foot. So look at my cross. Here I'll auto. See how I'm turning right here? Right here. So through your cross. Boom. So notice that I'm covering here and I'm slapping. So go for it. And notice that my hand's not coming out here. So punch through my forehead. Forehead, go. Good, go. So you can pop it right over. So we're right. doing with the opposite hand. Yeah, yep, you're gonna go cross and you're gonna slap with the right also. Okay. Aim for the forehead, and you even touch touch slow to each other's forehead, so you can actually like because if you miss, you want to actually hit your. Uh, if, you, if you don't block it, you're gonna get hit. And that's that's how you want to train. Good stuff. Good stuff. And there you go. And throw that color. Inhale the energy into the belly, the breath, and then push it right through the knuckles. I didn't do that. It's so hard to <coughs> do all that. Oh, it's okay. That's why you do it slow. Where you said breathe in the color. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Push, draw back. Shoot. Exhale. Inhale. Draw back. <coughs> Inhale. <coughs> Inhale. <coughs> so when you're taking the punch, you're inhaling, drawing the color in, and then you whip it back out. Good stuff. Same concept we use in choreography as well. So being able to take the um, uh, the color visualization is something you can see. And again, the person who's probably best at this type of color visualization that people have seen before that everyone really knows is Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson does this color. He taught this color. Uh, I'm going to do a whole video on it so you can actually see where he taught it and which videos. And um, so uh, that's coming. It's coming this year. I've been talking about this for years. So that's coming this year. I promise. But Shaolin monks do this too. It's not like, you know, it's not just choreography for dancing, it's choreography for martial arts, for movement, for coordinating your body, the breath work and visualization is super important. Remember when you take that punch, do your best to feel a little spiral, drop the pressure into the ground. Good stuff. the same concept that you're doing before that lightly and you're going to put this in front of your nose and the eye line that you were asking about before is the triangle between chin and two shoulders that this one two three is where your eyes are go for it and that'll help you see everything beneath there because you can see the head movement from the chin and for both you guys rotate your shoulders a bit more because you're punching like this so you really want to make sure that you instead of here that you feel the full Extension and look how much like longer your uh, your your reach is. Okay. 
Yeah, and some people punch like that. I don't actually chart all the way. Um, What's is there an advantage to it? I, I I was just never taught that. So I I was always taught to keep my elbow down. So and and when I do pick it up, which I was taught later on, um, I immediately drop it to protect my ribs and my and the organs. So it's <clears throat> so you can have short short uh, bursts. Um, like this, like short bursts like this make a lot of sense, especially when the rest of the body is coordinated. Um, but just really being able to make sure that if you're working with each other, that you can um, do the range that you want to feel the full expression at any given time. So now we're going to do the, the right leg. We're going to pause for a second just so we can get the mechanics down. So with this one, you're going to lay, uh, you're going to turn this foot out by lifting the toes, turn out 45 degrees and then shift your weight back on. So again, that's that rhythm. It's a one, two, three, and then reset. One, two, three. And you're hitting outside, outside of the thigh? You're hitting on the thigh, outside of the thigh. So remember, one, two, three, reset. One, two, three, and then the reset is one, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three. And then up, turn, shift the weight onto the ball foot. Up. Turn, shift the weight of the ball of the foot. And so that's that's just how you're picking it. For the kick, kicking downward, and then coming back. Yeah, so you're gonna actually turn, you're gonna pivot on the ball of your foot and turn your hip over and ankle. Exactly. And you're gonna feel as if you're pushing here. You put more weight here. Soften, relax, put more weight. Good stuff. And then pull it off. You actually use it, use it to push off. Push, push off from here. And back, exactly. So, good stuff. And so, there, you actually just gave me the target I want. The intention with these kicks is to roll this muscle up or down to cause it to cramp. And obviously, like if you kick even harder, you can break it off. So, the intention here is so you, you want to hide that. And so, so you're going to turn out this way toward autumn. Yep. And take it on the top of the thigh. Yeah, exactly. And you want to make sure you always keep your knee and your toe aligned when you take this. And it'll help to protect your knee, protect your stance. Um, I've seen some, some fighters really do a great job when they can't check it, meaning check the block like that, mm -hmm. of actually like sinking into it. And I've seen guys like break their legs on the, the top of the thigh. Mm -hmm. So like you really want to get strong with your alignment. So if you feel the knee swivel like it just did, yeah, and that's why you want to just slow it first so you can really find your your alignment because if you're if you're just dropping into it fast, you're going to wobble mm -hmm. and then you're not going to have the, the, the muscle, um, the stability in the muscles. Exactly. So I would take it slow at first and I'm going to throw to you. Turn. Turn toward it. Oh, beautiful. And then you go throw to me. And think about the, the kick itself as, as if you're, you're running. So notice how like I, I kind of ran into it. So I move like this, so you're coming up and then turning over. And you're only turning over as that momentum lifts your heel, the running momentum. So I lift up my heel, I turn over, I pull back. Oh, good stuff. Beautiful. Great. And how, how you have your hands, like, that's great. You can totally do that. And a variation is throwing the hand across. So to, to get one, yeah, throwing that hand, your right hand going behind you as if you're pushing past. Good. And another example of that is you pull my arm down and throw the kick. See, so it's the same thing. So now you've used my arm as leverage. You're like doing push hands and playing around. You push in, you pull, and you kick. You, you want to spin this a little this way so that we can use the wrong way? And and still be facing camera. Sure. You know what I mean? I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, I want you guys go for it. Go.
then when do I kick, like, when, when I finish coming in? Yeah, you, you, you're going to block it and then take your turn. Yeah, come back and then get ready for your kick. But this feels weird. If I like, put it here and then that. Well, remember that the if you kick me this, put it over here, come back, and now I run and turn. And then I'm back. And then you kick, I'm back, and then I run and turn. And then I'm back. Make sure you point your heel, the, the, the standing heel, to her. Make sure you think about that as your target. When, when you're making impact on her thigh, your standing heel is pointing at her. Arm show. Look at her back heel. Well, point points at you. So see how you're not turning, you're pivoting? So your heel is pointing behind you rather than at her. This, this here? Yeah, your standing heel. Watch my heel. See how the, this pivot. Yeah, and pivot on the ball of the foot, not the heel. Yeah, for the kick, pivot on the ball of the foot. To take the kick, pivot on the heel. Which one's heel? <laughs> this one? Okay, this is the heel, okay. this is the ball of the foot, and this is the big toe. Those are your three nails. So you're going to pivot on the ball of the foot, heel, ball of the foot, heel, ball of the foot. Ball the foot, heel, ball the foot, heel. Okay, this is one of the this is one of the, the more uh, challenging, conceptually challenging kicks to get for a lot of people. But then once you get it, it's like a it's like a whip. And you you had it several times. Um, nice. We're, we're going to get that one though. But this is, this is like the de devastating, of uh, any of the Muay Thai kicks, or any kick in the world, this is probably the most devastating kick, honestly. And so, just learning how to, to, here, I'm going to, I want you to go, okay, great. Point that heel up to me, pivot on the ball of your foot, in the front of your foot, your ball, exactly, and turn to me. Yep. Yeah, and notice that your hip has actually passed me, that's exactly what you want. So you want that torque to go past me, and then you want to use that impact to push off and come back. And if you miss, you want to use that to come all the way around. So that's how hard you're throwing this kick, and that's why you want to condition the legs to, to be, and the, the body mechanic to be able to toss it through. Good stuff. Good stuff. Do it again. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Okay, let's go wall, one, two. So, forehead, jab, forehead, cross. And, and uh, so if I go jab, cross, so I'm going full extension, okay? And then, go to me, one, two. One, two, and you're gonna wall up the hands and the head, push the shoulder blades forward, go forward. One, two, push up. Cool, and, and keep your eyes open when, that, when you feel the impact. Force your eyes to stay open as you feel that impact. Good stuff.
start thinking about rhythm. Start thinking about you get. A, you're gonna start, and and then you're, you're gonna respond. respond. I'm gonna respond. Yeah. So now we're gonna change the thinking. You're going to attack. You're gonna respond to the attack. It's the same movements, but the contention changes. Go. Go for it again. Happy when you're gonna respond, okay? Just that. Okay, now you're attacking, you're gonna respond. Go for it. Try to feel the different rhythms. The different rhythms. So, like, if you're going, one, if one two is always your rhythm, try changing that up for yourself. So, can you um, be more specific? Sure. So, punch. Same rhythm. Keep going. Same rhythm. Sorry, different rhythm. Feel the the the, the, the slight difference. Go well, again. The one two comes in faster. The one two itself isn't the difference. Go again. Go. So now it's, that's slow, okay, right? Yeah. So 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 you want to be able to change the rhythm, the speed at which it's delivered, and the speed between the space between them. So let's go. Um, let's go here. Front kick. Front kick up here. Uh, little lead leg. Front go. Good. And a little push. Good. Go for it. Right in the, yeah, right in the uh, solar plexus. We're doing back or front? Front. Exactly. And you take it, sink into the leg. Keep going. Seems like we're. Is this battery already dead? That's no, good. Am I supposed to lean into it if she kicks? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you were doing a great job. Your mechanics are, fan are great. No, good stuff, I was saying. Okay, in, in 10 seconds, we're going to start to knock the kick to the side with the lead hand. Kick. Kick it, knock it to the side. There you go. Good. Good stuff. If you're a Tai Chi person, you'll know this as, um, uh, let me try to fix this camera over here. You'll know this move as uh, brush knee, if you're a Tai Chi person. But it is a basic, basic technique. Let on your feet landing. Jen, can you show the grab? Uh, okay. So, right under the ankle. And then do I like toss it? Uh, 
right now I'm, I'm saying you just use the forearm to knock it aside, but if you do want to do the grab, there's a bunch of things you can do. Oh, I thought we were doing the grab. No, no, you're, no, I'm just saying knock oh, it to sorry. the side. Okay. And when you do that, like full, full posture, so boom, like boom, like be ready to throw a cross. Okay. Or take the purpose back. And push hands. Ten seconds. Good stuff. Excellent stuff. Really, really good. Put the camera. Got to do the breath. So now we'll do it with the right leg. I feel like it would hurt if without gloves. Like wrists. That well, that's why you train your your forearms. Remember the, the all the yeah. all that stuff. So it's like, mm. one of the the best throws of the cake. Mm. Come around the hook. It's like, mm. Mm. Real fun. You on the side. Can you hook my side? So thrust kick is next, which is the right leg. Same concept, taking it out of the belly, and then we'll switch it up halfway through. Thank you. Yep. Good. Thank you. Nice. throw the back power leg. So because it's farther away, you get more power from the distance. So generate that. Oh. Yeah, so we're gonna just take it and you're and you're conditioning the abs to take it now. Actually give some impact. Good. And push when you ex receive it, flex the abs, exhale, push, sink it to the ground. Good stuff. Good stuff. Start knocking it to the side with the right hand. Good. And remember why you're doing that. You're knocking it to the side because you want to stay on the outside of the body. Go for it. Because it's, hard, it's harder to hit you when you're on the outside of the body. It's really nice to get kicked in the stomach by Vintage instead of you because his toes aren't like razors. 
<laughs> your, toes, <laughs> your toes are so like hard because of how much you train on the mats. Like the bone. Oh, yeah, gosh. and so like it really hurts. So I feel like you just helped me get over my fear of taking those kind of kicks. So thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So next we'll do. Let's start getting a uh, seven. Uh, start taking it up here. Kick up here, light, gentle, please. Good. So you lean into it, kick. Yep. Good stuff. Then you gonna kick back. So you guys got it. Lean into either side, one hand, sit, whatever side, you're going to block it here for this side, and then here for that side, and slap it. Okay? Go for it. Head or mid? Mid. Mid. Okay. You can go to me. Go a little bit, that one. Exhale, sink it, put the pressure into the ground. Good stuff. Yeah, this is a kick with not the rotation, right? What do you mean? Like, well, I'm not pivoting. You're still going to pivot, yeah. yeah always going to pivot. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if, it depends on the style of kick you're doing. For, for the Thai style kicks, yes. Okay. If you're doing like a karate kick, it may not be the same type of pivot. Okay. Like a karate kick. And all of it, like you, from impact, push back off and come back. Yeah. No, no, you got, you have, you have everything you need to do. Good work. Okay. That's good. The other karate, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, it'll be more of a chamber than kick. Okay. So it'll be more of a snap. Yeah, it's the floor of a karate style. Half roundhouse kick. The difference between a round kick and a roundhouse kick. Go for a little. So let's go for top punch. I'm holding this and kick, and then you're yeah, just go back and forth, and then then now you'll do it. Pop, punch, short punch, and then throw a uh, low kick. This. Yep. Good. And then clinch, pop the shoulder, cross, and then. Okay. And then you come in. You guys, you guys got it. Let me see you guys do it. Like, I'm not too familiar. 50 50 clinch, like push hands. Wrestling. Great. Push with the shoulder. So pop the shoulder. Yep. Throw the cross. The target. It's a short cross this time. So, you know, because you guys are doing your short crosses, I want you to see what the difference is. Great. And now throw a low round house kick. To the leg. This one? Yep. Yep, exactly. Yep. So, 
So, yep. Okay, make sure when you go into the clinch, your lead hand is the underhook. The lead hand is underneath, under hooking underneath. Okay. Yeah. But we're doing a cross, so this hand. Yes. No, cross is your right hand. Yeah, so this hand's underneath. Exactly. Yeah. Go. And go right back to the top. Pop, punch, kick. Remember, the pop is to create space. Create space for the shoulder pop. And, oh, I felt so, your shoulder, sorry. Oh, yeah, so, so it's going to be her and then you. So, yes, and just defending. Take the pop, take the punch, and defend the kick. Good. Exactly. Pop, punch, kick. So all these, like, kind of realistic, um, more gritty, like, this is, this is, like, real detailed, um, like sport fighting, fighting kind of technique concepts here. So our concept with our choreography that, that we've been doing for years is to bring this into, um, bring this with, with broken rhythm into uh, fight scenes. So broken rhythm is realistic rhythm versus what you see a lot of times in, in action scenes, which is like a four beat or a three beat, a three count or a four count is what most action scenes are done on. And so with what we do, you'll see, if you just look at anything we've done for Justice for Hire, you'll see action on, on different rhythms. And uh, it's very rare, but normally if we're working with somebody who's very new, we may revert to like a more kind of action choreography, but like we'll, we normally cut that with something else. Um, but in general, we like to train our folks to have uh, uh, the broken rhythm style, which is just looks more real. So the rhythm they're doing right now is actually not necessarily the rhythm that we would shoot, but the fact that they're finding their own, their own rhythm is a key part of uh, why this is important. And again, if you do Tai Chi with me, you know that the whole concept of the breathwork visualization of the body mechanic, um, you find your rhythm in your form, in your Gong when you do these the, the breathwork visualization of the body mechanic, you find the rhythm and so being able to then find it with a partner and find it within the, the uh, exchange uh, is, is key. somebody who's not used to it, who's not used to holding their balance like that. Anyone with some basic training. So we're here in this clinch, and you're going to drop your hips and reach with this right arm underneath my knee. So you're going to drop the hips and scoop my knee up. You drop your level. Scoop up. You, yeah, use the head, turn it um, more this way. Yep. Cool. My, my head pushing you. Exactly. So boom, I'm here. I drag my head up and I turn. You can walk it in too. But you don't. Okay. Also gonna be great. Great partner for this. What? So you're gonna bring a great partner for this. Yeah. And then we'll switch legs halfway through and we'll switch sides. Go for it. 50-50. Hand on the elbow, Autumn. 
down the elbow, and then from there, break. As you reach, good. Great. There you go. Drop the hips. Good. Turn your head as you lift. This way? Yeah, everything going that way. Okay. It's like a wheel. Good. And use that, that left arm to cut into their the soft part of their body. Left arm, cut in. Okay. Cut in as you turn. Yep. Cool. This is like a handle for your head, head here when you go down. Same concept for you, all. Think about how this is this is a handle for your head. Okay. Yep. There you go. Feel it. Mm -hmm. it feels harder to lift them when you're doing that. Um, keep going. Grab it, go. Slow down. Good. 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 One of you try walking each other forward after the lift. Now. Towards forward. As you turn, now we'll start walking. Them. Okay. Yeah, walk them with the turn. Great. So you feel that? Feel it? Auto try one more time. Lift them up and walk them with the turn. So one thing you can do from there, go here, pick them up, walk with the turn, is you can literally. Turn them, turn them, turn them, and just keep on turning. You can step and turn them. So you can step behind the turn, and or you can you can um, you know kick the leg out. Does a bunch of stuff. All those they have it. We'll do the other side. So the same thing, but the right hand, right leg forward, right hand forward, and now the left hand is scooped up. And then we'll finish with the thumbs up. a more dynamic. Dropping the hips down as you reach, so everything going down. It's like you're it's in your you're reaching, but you're also relaxing into it. So you're dropping you almost like dead weight in a very focused way. So <clears throat> inhale, come up. <clears throat>
vintage more turn. Cut, cut. There you go. Take one out of the curve. Mm -hmm. So last round, and the last round is going to be any technique that we've done to the collar uh, underneath the face, and just uh, the sparring or uh, one for one. So any technique that we've done, okay, um, except punch in the face. So if you're going to do a jab, jab to the chest, okay. So just nothing to the head, and any technique one for one. You go, then you go, then you go. Just have fun with it. So we did this, we did the ground. Yeah, and even if like, if she kicks, you can knock it to the side, things like that. Mm -hmm. and, if, and if she throws a punch, feel free to come in here and, and do the grab, because that's still one for one. Okay. Get ready. Get our collarbone down. And you're throwing the technique like for real though. Like medium. Yeah, medium. Yeah. Good stuff. Nice. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, that was not full of yeah. <laughs> Soften the arms, soften your body a bit. Yeah, soften, but still keep your guard up. <laughs> You're like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, in. Oh, yeah, we just wasn't doing that. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Stretch it out too. So we're we're, we're going to get into uh, we're going to get into the choreography. We're going to get into the choreography now. We're, we're, they're going to stretch it out because you want to stretch before the choreography. There's a lot of wait time for the choreography. So in fact, I'm going to start building the uh, building. I mean build. Where, where is our? Where's the light? Oh, stand. Thanks for doing that, um, Jan. Thank you. Vintage. Awesome. Really great, great work. Let's see, where is the tripod? There it is. So, would you guys uh, just do some stretches together? Like, go one for one with a stretch. For like, five stretches. So what we're going to shoot today for um, JFH is uh, we're going to shoot so, uh, an, an action shot and nothing too complicated, but I really, I'm cutting this story so far video. So I'm cutting a video that is telling people uh, what we've been doing for the last like more than five years, honestly. So it's a really huge deal as a, um, as just a piece of content that we're putting out. It's more than a piece of content. It's a summary that allows people to see that how much lore, how much like backstory there is to Justice for Hire, how much we've shot, how many people are involved, who's involved, you know, um, and, and people are going to be like surprised to see like all, all the different faces we have in it. So it's like really really cool. Um, big shout out to Ahmed Best, who is uh, in in, um, in JFH and uh, you know him from Mandalorian and Jar Jar Banks and all this other stuff and really great guy. Um, he's a jiu-jitsu buddy from, from uh, John Machado, uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and uh, just a bunch of awesome people involved. So it's going to be really, really cool to show people who may know us from what we've been doing for the last several years, um, and to see the history of what we've been doing for much longer than that, and how it's all tying together in a show that anybody can join right from their phone, which again is like the shirt I'm wearing, which is Justice for Hire, um, dot app. And you can go to justiceforhire.com to learn about it. So we're going to put this green screen up and we're going to make something cool happen. And I'm from like a comic book family. So like I really want some shots to look like uh, the co a comic book cover. And that's been something, uh, a goal of mine for many years that, that I've been doing in various ways. And um, I think vertical video is really the best way to accomplish it. It's been more challenging with with uh, widescreen, and we've accomplished some of it widescreen, but like, vertical video to me is like a real huge opportunity if you have uh, comic book sensibilities. So, you see all that stuff coming together, and check out our latest episodes if you haven't, which are on TikTok right now, and YouTube, and, and more. Uh, but our, our last five episodes are pretty dope. Do I smell chicken noodle soup? Do I smell chicken noodle soup? You don't? I do not. I don't know. Really? Yeah. <laughs> One of the neighbors like is definitely a really good cook. I'm very hungry. So guys, remember, like, they're stretching right now. I'm not really, well, I'm obviously in the way of the stretching, but, like, you know, stretching is just such a big deal. Always make sure you stretch right after you train. It's just so important. What inspired you to um, cut your hair, Richard? I'm still tired of this going in my hair when I keep. <laughs> is that simple? <laughs> yeah. 
different stuff like that. Like you got itchy and just hard to maintain and all that. I'm sure a whole bunch of energy came off the, the your yeah, feeding. That, that, that was another thing. I just like yeah, energy. I remember I cut my hair from like uh, when I cut it. I was living in L.A. and um, and I cut it from like I don't know one two three maybe like eight years of having it. Like your fro my, or my fro, yeah. Like when I cut that off, that was like a huge deal. But you cut it so how short though? Um. Pretty short. Uh, actually, it was probably around like 2000, it was 2010, so it wasn't eight years. It was like uh, six years, six years of having the fro. You, you ever had a buzz cut? Yeah. 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 High school, right? Uh, that high school picture of you in the yearbook. In yeah, the well, my first year of college was the last year I had a buzz cut. Did you ever go to I, when I was small, I, like, probably grade school, my mom, like, kept my hair kind of short. Like a bowl cut? Yeah. How'd you know? <laughs> it's just all kids. Did all you have a like, bowl cut? It was like, I would say it was like a tad more nuanced. Like, she, like, it was like shaved kind of Sorry, close yeah. back here, and then it kind of came, like, at an angle. Um, well, oops. There was like so many kids in the house, I feel like she just like didn't want to do my hair. So you got mad siblings? Um, my mom did foster care. Oh. So there was always like an array. Of <laughs> Are you still friends there? Um, the one who I'm closest with, he's lived in Taiwan for like over a decade. So he went there for college and like just <laughs> never came back. That's pretty cool though. Yeah. Going over a lot of kids. Yeah, so I'm closest with him and then there was another child who was with us for like over a decade, and then he got adopted. So, but he was like a little bit, he was a bunch younger. Me and Tyler are like the same age. So. Alright, I don't know, but this is how we did it before. Your clips. Yeah, I got the clips. Could you stand up real quick, please? Let's see. Get home. Can. I, I think can I smell it. that chicken noodle soup. I can make it just taller. Can we? Can we? Um. Stack. Yeah, let's stack, stack this. We're gonna have to stack this to make this taller. Thank you. You're trying to put this underneath the. Yeah. Yeah. We're just gonna. One shot, maybe I can uh, like lower myself. Uh, it's the certain angle that I want oh. to achieve, and um, really. What if we took the? You know how there's that white bar in the one in the kitchen. What if we took the bar down and put it in the doorway? No, I need. We need a, a, an extent. We need to be able to fully extend. Actually, let's let's just test the shot with um with this. So we're going to test the shot. Oh, it's okay. Thank you. The piano. Alright. Yeah, Alright. Stop. Stop on the Justice Fire feed. Love you guys. Alright. Okay. Stay, stay on the, the Tai Chi feed. Is it for all hungry? Should we have a snack? Oh, or... uh, maybe. Would you eat it? Do you, would you like popcorn? Uh, nah. I'm probably okay. gonna get some real food. <laughs> okay, let's just see how this looks. Do you guys mind if I put my clothing up on the sofa for now? Sure.
Yeah, this is this is it. This is the shot, I think. Jen, do you want an apple, a vintage? And we have apples here if you'd like one. Oh, okay, cool. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna move this over here. Yeah, I can see. I'm trying to set up the shot. And we need more light also. We need that steamer on them. I wonder if we could just iron it because, like, the steamer is like very challenging. Well, the steamer, the steamer is supposed to use like you're supposed to use it every time. I'm still here. You still got 10 people in the lab, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Follow Vintage. Very, very fun guy. TikTok. V I N T I J. Or on IG. Vintage.infinity. with you guys, man. How you guys feeling? Dude, can you talk about those villages yet? Oh. No. Is anyone in here interested in eco-villages? <laughs> Drop a comment if you're interested in eco-villages so I know to talk about them. If not, just watch us fold laundry and green screens. Yeah, yeah. 
reason I mention that is because he's building a community. It's pretty pretty amazing. I still got to get on the call with service. Actual superhero, like just a network of like powerful people. Oh, you mean Andy? Andy? Yeah, Andy Russell. Yeah, he's my yeah. my, my yeah. If you ever get in contact, tell him I would love to like join that network. Dude, he's he's he, he like just signed on as the real world advisor. Oh, yeah. Two days ago. Or is that the neighbor? That's a neighbor. Damn. I, know, I, feel like he, I, I feel the kiwi here if you want um, one vintage. Okay, thank you. This smells so close. Yeah, I don't know which neighbor it is, honestly. I, I would like to think it's like my direct neighbor, but I don't think the, the, that kind of vibe from her, maybe. You smell those every day. She doesn't seem like the kind, apparently, <laughs> who would have that type of deliciousness coming out. Of the no, she does, but I like not the flavor profiles that I'm smelling. I think it's coming. I think it might come from the people down. The chef senses. Yeah, I think we got something going on here. Do the wrinkles matter in a green screen? Yeah, they, they can make it, it. They can make it more difficult to um, to key out the green. sound is my son's popcorn machine. <laughs> As you can see, I got him a popcorn machine for his like uh, sixth birthday, like seventh birthday. I was like, I was very, very proud <laughs> to get him a popcorn machine. So real fun, real fun gift. Was it his seventh birthday? Yeah, it was his seventh birthday. So real fun gift. This could work. I don't, I, 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 
if you ever uh, end up in Florida in November, I'm going to be performing at a Zen Awakening Festival. Oh, where? From November? Yeah. Where in Florida? I forgot where. There's like a New York rapper um, on a... Uh, There's a New York rapper in the, in Tampa, you know, St. Petersburg, Florida, doing something, like, they're doing a big show when Jet and I were there. You don't know what I mean? No. Uh, my homie is there, too. Meadow, he's another rapper. He's in St. Petersburg as well. It was, it was like, you could tell he was like, New York. It's the way his flow was. He's like, I was like, oh, it's a New York rapper. see me doing this, I'm still working out the challenges from the, 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 the uh, tension from the car accident I got into last year and the one year before. So like, you see me doing that. And also, like I was doing push hands about a year and one month ago with this guy and like got another little injury right after that car accident. So it was a like, whole thing. But I actually saw the video, the exact moment where I got it, which I posted on my, my YouTube. This is a very experimental shot, guys. Let's see if this works. My face not gonna be in it, right? Uh, someone's face has to be in it, and someone's gotta take a punch. And I think I should. I mean, I'm. I could. Uh, since uh, the whole point of this first part of the the, um, it's supposed to show scale. So I'd rather not be me delivering the punch. I'd rather it be somebody else. So. Um, Either you or vintage. Delivering or taking? Delivering the punch. Someone's got to take the punch, someone's got to deliver the punch. So both of you guys would be doing some and form. If one someone's of those taking two. it, then they're wearing a mask? Or? Whoever's taking it is going to wear the hoodie and the mask. Hoodie and I, I can't find a mask. I don't know where it went. Striking? I guess in your bag somewhere. You might be right about that. Can you take off all the lights, please? Yeah. Taking this light off. Alright. And can you pull out that steamer too, please? Oh, this is your phone. I feel like it was coming too much 
Well, no, we're, not, we're not shooting with that camera, we're shooting with this one. And I need to shoot over here. Definitely very dangerous to have these weights here. As you guys can see, I was lifting some weights while they were doing some their exercises. So. All right. Who wants to get punched? Who wants to throw the punch? Like on camera, right okay. Now? Then, then, then you guys throw the punch, and then you'll, you'll wear the hoodie and the, and the bandana. Okay. okay, can I pass you the hoodie and said bandana? There we go. I would rather use a different hood. So if you have something like dark, that's great. But just there, there's stacks here. Alright, cool. Where's the red light on now? Sorry? Where's the red light on now? Just try to cover your face up. So you can't see it. Like on my hair? Or? Good. Can Autumn wear your last post hat? I have, I have a, a bunch of headwear. Oh. You want to put on the, uh, a different hoodie then? So again guys, this is like a, um, a, a highlight shot. It's supposed to look like a comic book cover. And <clears throat> uh, this is for our show, Justice for Hire. Again, justiceforhire.com. And you, you can check us out on TikTok. So, um, oh, it's steaming. Hold on. See you got to steam these green screens. Steam the green screens. Brother, can you pull it taut on the other side? Just like pull it, pull it, um, at the same level I'm pulling? Thank you, thank you. Get this, these wrinkles out. Thank you, thank you. Keep holding. Can't be too close, otherwise it will stain. Especially right here. Put this 
episode, episode right out right away. Or are you gonna do it? The second, no, the second is done and goes out. Yeah, man. It's like the the reason we hit, we we paused on all other episodes is because this is such an important piece of like an important asset. Yeah, you know, this is the thing that allows us to pull on like partnerships and 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 you know. <clears throat> As culture started understanding what we were doing with real world, people were like, oh, okay, now I get it. Yeah, that's really cool. So where's the show? I'm like, what do you mean? I just spent like all these years like trying to pitch you people, and uh, now you actually want the content that we've actually been, been shooting, and I haven't been focusing on that because I've been trying to get capital into the company, or more capital into the company. So to me, it's just, it's just the reality. It's like, okay, it's time. It's time to shift to the creative because people, people get it. Now and uh, you know we're still ahead of the game in many ways. So I feel like this is this is as good as it's gonna get. Can you pull it just one more time with taunt. Oh, thank you. I think that. Again, this is an experiment. So, running this. One. All right, let's see. Okay, guys. Try your last post down real quick. Me? Can she? Oh, yeah. I have another one that's completely black. That helps. <coughs> so where are your bandana? They're sitting at. They're all like really bright colors, like girly colors. Okay. All right. So let's just put you right here for a second. have your uh, app on, the JFH app screen on, and you're in slow motion, you're going to be punching up on the jaw. So we're going to keep stay connected and arm. So you're going to be me for a second. You're going to be vintage, I'm going to be you. Arm. Turn your body. Was it like arm. a real person? You're, you look like you're trying to hide your face, yeah. but not in like a... Well, uh, people know what I look like. I was trying to find my snowboard mask that covers my entire face, but I can't find it. I need, I need like five more minutes to find it. Okay. Maybe we can try that. Okay, so you're here, and you remember, punch. So we're going to hide your face unless you can find a mask, and follow through, extend your arm this way. Great. So we're going to go all the way here, and we're going to go and, and, and make the connection. And then you punch. Uh, like that. So that's what, that's what you're going to do. I'm punching her. Yeah, and you're going to go super slow. Super, super slow. And I'm going to shoot it in even slower slow motion. And um, and one of you guys... Let's get you a JFH shirt. Do you want this shirt? No, let's get the shirt. I have a clean one. This is still clean? No. No, I have a clean one. <laughs> right. Oh, thanks, man. Pull that up. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, I still got the shirt, but it's like so small. <laughs> the one you guys did. Oh, that's funny. Hi, uh, that shirt doesn't fit you? Oh my gosh. It's like so, yeah, I can't move it. Really? Yeah. Well, you got the other black one. I think this is... You got, you got, the next time you see me, like, if you still have that shirt with you, bring it. Let me, let me see if it fits I think me. It might be. Let me see if it fits me, because like I, my, my JFH shirts are like, are pretty, um, 
spacious and I could use a tighter one. So guys, this is this is the Justice for Hire app. If you don't know, now you do know this is Vintage's profile on here. So imagine this app is essentially like this is how we're making the show together for people around the world. So you go to justiceforhire.app, you make your own hero or villain profile or client that hires heroes and villains and sends people out of missions. And this is pretty cool. And um, you know, you can put your backstory in and take on missions and challenges and shoot scenes that then uh, ex every scene expands your character story, the story of the entire cinematic universe, and um, we, we pull certain scenes that people make and cut it into the show. So it's pretty cool. It's justiceforhire.app. Obviously, it's the shirt that I'm wearing. Obviously, that's the training we just did tonight, the stunt training. Now we're going to shoot a shot from the um, uh, uh, for, for, for this story so far video that we're putting together. So this is vintage if you want to ally or rival him. You, you can ally or rival people. It's like friending, but it's different. It's like you actually choose a relationship, and you can ally or rival him. He's got a bunch of uh, allies, but no rivals. Good for him. Good guy. That's why. Good job. Oh, do we have an extension? Perfect. Do we have an extension cord? Um, yes. Yes. Where is it? It's on. Is, it, is that it right there? No, it's in the popcorn machine. The popcorn, where the popcorn panels are. It's, right. Right, it's, there, it's right there. No, like in the big, where the big bag was. Is this thing you're driving? Driving? Yeah. Just right. a sec second load. It's a, it's a long driving process. The driver takes forever. I don't know why. Is this sound too much? No, no, no. We, we don't need any sound. It's all good. I just wasn't sure if it was the same. Like autumn started the load or what happens. Striking. All right, now we have some room to play with. It's over here. You know, with you guys. Do you need any help or anything? Striking. Uh, no, I think, thank you for asking. Really lovely. Actually, yeah, can you plug this in, please? Yeah. Over there. That way we can just have more options. Oops, sorry. Let's okay. plug back in, we'll see. You can unplug that, because that's, that's, I want to unplug it and plug it in here. Oh, okay. Bye. 
Go for my phone, please. Yeah. We're, sh- we're going to shoot the slow motion shot. Yeah, I'm going to delete this stuff. Alright. Okay, guys, you ready? But you got a shirt on. Nice. <laughs> uh, let's get you some, like, outdoor kind of, like, like gear up. Like, we're not going to see your feet, but definitely, like, your pants. Um, Jen, you took the videos from the shoot last time off my phone, right? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely, definitely did? Yeah, definitely. Striking. For those who don't know, um, film language, but you say striking when you're going to turn on or off a light. Hey, I want to make sure that the the, 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 the camera is getting me freaking steaming vintage shirt, please. <laughs> just, just, just angle it a little bit more. Um. It's okay, I it. I'll, I'll step up. Can you step back a little bit? It's okay, I got it. I'm, I'm in front. There you go. How's that feel? I, I was like, I'd love to have some steam. <laughs> That, that, that looks a little. That's, that's not the photo I take. Yeah. That okay, great. Here we go. That's just this right here. Look how sweet that looks. Aww. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> 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 that's doing something you shouldn't be doing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good to go. Just like a hundred. Did this get you anything? Huh? Water. Water, you want anything? No, I'm good. Okay. Well, I'm going to how much Jen, 
did you brush by the plant by any chance? Because these leaves are all really healthy, but they came off. I don't. No, definitely not. I opened this before it hit this. Uh oh. Some came out too. Probably not. Okay. This, yeah, this hits every one time. No. Maybe, the, maybe the back just not getting enough sun. So. Huh. But it's like growing like really fast. So. I've seen lots of leaves. But Sometimes it's healthy for, for leaves to grow. Can I get both of you guys in the frame, please? Yeah. Let's try this out. Yeah? Thank you. All right. Here. here we go. So Vince just has his phone with the JFH app open. There are 240. Uh, yeah, I didn't see both of you guys in frame. Just try the action real quick that we talked about. I'm supposed okay. to hold it, like, hold it to the screen like that. That seems yeah. unnatural, though. I'm just like... You know what? <laughs> um, can you switch it to... Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it seeming unnatural. Oh, no, no, oh, no, no. Oh, I mean, yeah, don't worry about it seeming unnatural. It's, it, uh, it, it's, we want heroes to know that they actually have to be recording themselves while shooting. While on a mission, and this is the people don't have body cams really, so this is like the concept. And um, let's just see, let's let's see how we can get you in frame doing that because right now you're, I won't be able to shoot that because you're off the green screen. So let, let's get you maybe like this. Yeah, think of it as your guard. Okay, great. Let's hold right there. Let's just see. The framing, what we need to do. Okay, so I have to light, I have to just put the hole right there, is that And I have to light behind you. The green screen behind you. Take a half step forward. What you mean? Uh, away from the green screen. You just step away from the green screen. Well, this way. Thank you. What you mean? Uh, away from the green screen. You just step away from the green screen. Well, this way. Thank you. Okay. All right, let's try this. No, oh, is that on? It is on, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's on. Let's change the color. <coughs> let's go with that. Okay. Right again, please. And you are not lit enough. So this is what we're gonna do. You want to try the overhead? Uh, I think it's gonna flicker. Let's just do a test shot. Go for it. Uh, arm step forward more. Switch these two lights. There we go. Get a light on the bench. There we go. There we go. This is something. I'll, I'll half step this way. Full, full acting with the body. You're, you've been hit really hard. You've been trying to steal this purse. Here you go. I have the purse? Yeah. Uh, uh, it, it, it's a stolen purse, so let's not, not carry it as if it's your purse. He's okay. not robbing you, he's saving the purse. Yeah, okay. I, if I was running away as a villain, I would carry the purse like this. Let's, for let's, sure. let's, 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 let's hold it like that. And. Okay, cool, check this out. Actually, hold first. <coughs> hold the phone. And. Let's go for this. Bang. Let's pull the purse and let's push the face this way, okay? <coughs> and so your, your acting is going to be turning that way as I go, 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 go. Super slow motion. Great. Awesome. So let's, and let's go Am I turning that. off camera or am I going down? Like which way am I? You're, all, you're just going to go that way. 
and super slow motion. Let's just try out that body mechanic. Vince, did you see what I did? Hold and turn. This so is gonna I'm be more. And then he's grabbing from me as. Yeah, and you're gonna level. pivot. You're, you're gonna pivot this foot. Boom. Exactly. So now we can see all of it. This is great. This is perfect. Okay, this is amazing, actually. Okay, guys, ready? We're gonna shoot this. Can you go a little higher on my face? So hold on one second. Hold on. Okay, guys. Rolling and action. Super slow. Cool. Cut. Let's just let's just take a look. Are you doing the um So that looks awesome. Like the, the movement looks awesome. This it's going to work. So now we need to sell the acting. You're fantastic. Let's slow with the sell your your position right now. So can you do it to me real quick? So can you step back real quick and watch from over here? So and stand over here so you don't block the camera with that. So I have this. I, my face isn't gonna be showing. Okay, so let's 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 then can you whip me down there a little bit more? Thank you. Cool. I'm not sure. I, like, there's so little space, so like, I'm not really. So, just do the. What do you mean space? What do you mean? What do you mean? Maybe do it anyway because that imprints impression. Okay. What, what do you mean? What, what, what were you saying just now? Your whole face is doing something? Yes. Like, so I need you to do, even if you were completely covered, okay. I need you to do everything with your face because we feel it through your body language. So if you don't fully act with the full, fully, fully express with the full body, we're not going to feel it on I just wasn't sure if you were doing something specific with your eyes that like you were asking me to do. So. No, no, I'm saying like full body expression, like face, even if we can't see it, that what we can't see is actually some of the most important stuff. Okay. Ready. We're gonna go for it again. And hold on, let me get the framing. Oh, it's a plant in life. I love your plant. But not in this shot, thank you. Okay guys, so think about the struggle. Struggling in slow motion first. Rolling and action. Show the phone. Boom. Great. Cut. Let's do it again. And even slower. Let's let's watch the let's actually watch it real quick. That hand. Acting with that hand too. Full body. Is this is this a little stuff? Frame? Can you get the same frame? Probably not. Um, let's try it one more time, and, and maybe we'll, we'll switch, and I'll, and I'll. Uh, I mean, if you don't think I can do it, then you should just do I, it. Now. I, I, I don't want to waste any time. I like, I, I, I like you doing it. Uh, let's let's add one more thing. Actual struggle. Think about push hands. Do you mind if she like kind of pushes on your face, something like that? So try to get him off this, off the purse. Okay. Okay. So well, let's bring real struggle into it, and but we're doing it in slow motion. So so like tense up the muscle, relax the muscle. Tense up the muscle, relax the muscle, and okay. let's see how that feels. And vintage from your face, even more of heroic you, altruism. You're, you're, you're here standing up for what's right. This person's stolen something that they don't believe, that, that, that's not there. So you're standing up for what's right. So you knock them down like, ah, oh, yes. Okay. Guys, ready? I'm gonna fill that right arm with some attention. Everyone ready? Slow, slow, super slow motion, super slow motion. Action.
Okay, let's do it again right away. Cut. Actually, let's switch. Let me, let's jump out. And here, I'll just throw that hoodie on. Can you, uh, I'll take the hat also. I'll just, do I have a pull this up? I'm just going to put it down. Thank you. All right. All right. So if you could just essentially like check the framing, the last framing wasn't that great. Um, we got to pull vintage a little bit more. Are you going to cut the bottom or? Uh, I'm doing my best to not get the weights on the floor. Uh, so I'm doing my best to fill the entire frame with the green screen. It's a slightly high angle that I'm going for to, to get a particular effect. Very slight high angle. How's the face look? Welcome to the Tai Chi channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is funny. This is great. All right. So that's not what we're ready. Um, I need you both to move um, to your right. This way? Yeah. yeah. Can you come forward? Thank you. Yeah, light should be mostly on him. I see light in his eyes, which is great. Give us a little closer like you're guarding. I still need um, more to the, to the right. Not forward, to the right. Yeah. Okay, behind me. Yeah. Okay. Am I good? One second. <laughs> okay, let's go for it. Um, rolling and action. Cough to the face. Elbow. Down. Okay, even oh, slower. Do it again. Go. Cut. How do I look? Um, the second one didn't work because. I have because mm -hmm. the starting position wasn't the same, so the camera wasn't ready. Okay. Yeah, let's take that off. It's distracted. <laughs> okay, so let's get his phone in frame. And that was the second one, like that where the starting position wasn't the same, so the phone was out. Let's keep it on two and Okay. So 
um, let's, we're going to go right to our, our the, uh, this is the, the big money shot, the, the, the money moment. So on the money moment, can you, can you just make sure that you have the frame? So the challenge I'm having is the app is, the background is not the green screen. Tell us everything we need to do to get to the... So, sorry, that's why I, if you could move right more. So when you say right, do you mean screen you left? Left to your right. So my right is this way? Yes. Okay, so no, we're no, going to come no, 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 your right, like... So, 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 so you're talking about screen left, correct? This way. Okay, that's screen left. Oh, so, so let, let, let us know. Do we have the frame? Yes. It, so Vintage's phone is in the frame? Yes. Okay, all green? Rolling. Okay. Action. here like we're shooting at him here let's shoot at him here what I mean by that is see the slight high angle it's actually not level with the floor it's slightly above maybe 32 degrees is that, a, is, is that a two because it doesn't look like it that's a two that's how far back I was standing okay so that's all two so notice that the cameras drop below his heart line. Here it's above his heart line. Okay. And you can always imagine little lines coming <coughs> up on the camera so that you can um, rise above them or below them. Okay. Thank you. It's getting hot in this mask. Can you um, cheat to the screen left, please? Sure. Hit vintage as well, or just me? Both. Can you take a half step this way, guys? Can you also take a half step forward? Thank you. How was that all? Quarter step back? Vintage? Thank you. How's that all? This is... The, the, since the top of the green screen is not straight either, like I'm just trying camera to... camera has to go slightly up. I know, Jen, cool. I'm just, I'm trying to get, since the top of the green screen is at an angle, it's very tough to, to make anything look straight, so I'm just... So, we don't want it to look straight, we want to, we want to go with the, the grooves. So in other words, make sure your end of your frame is the top of the screen, and then once you connect to that top of the screen, start tilting down about 30 degrees, aiming slightly above his heart line. Heart line comes out, top of the frame here, and capture everything in between. And the edge of your frame is going to be the green screen there. So nothing past. But then that. the weight shows. So I'm it's okay. To... Well, we can we can uh. Well, we, we can... go for this where you are now. Go for this tape. Okay. Ready? Let's actually just bring your head up. Roll. Hang on. Rolling. Action. Come up with the elbow. Over. Okay, reset. Quit uh -huh. That didn't work. Keep going? Not yet, but almost. Should we shorter with it? Rolling. Action. Okay, that was really good. Almost got it, but 
the vintage, the ha uh, angle of your phone, um, where you had it kind of facing close to, closer to your shoulder and kind of facing angling down a little. So should I hold it, hold it like this? Closer to your body. Yeah, yeah, and then like keep keep try to keep it in that distance from the edge. All right. Yeah. So your end pose is going to be right there, right, Alan? Yep. Great. So just think about hitting this this straight shape and structure, and I'll I'll sell the rest. Okay, rolling. Not yet. No action yet. Vintage closer to your. Um... Okay, and action. Uh, elbow comes up, 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 up. Inhale, up. exhale, down. Oh. You were kind of in his hero shot at the end there? Because I fell down? The way that you fell when you... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, uh, try not to whip me off of you. Because I, I, I lost balance. <laughs> okay, let's cover it again. So I think we're off. getting closer to it. This is a great, a great, yeah. great angle. Yeah. We just had to make some slight adjustments. Stand over here when you can. Stand this way when you can. I get you out because you're in the way of the camera. You're still streaming. So you mean like you don't go follow through? Uh, you just you whip me off of your arm at the end. So okay. So just keep it super soft. And po pose on that too. So the so the whip off you whip me off your arm. So I'll actually like pose pose here. Excuse me, photo. One second, just see how you got up, Jenna. Yeah. yeah, I get it. Yeah. So n none of this, we're not, we're not going to use any of that. We're going to use up here. So let's get you, when you finish your move, mm -hmm. I'm going to be your mirror right now, that you're here. Mm -hmm. So let, like, like think about posing there rather than at the end. So just hold yeah. that? Yeah, hold, hold this. Think of it as the pose, even though you can still evolve out of it. So like, just hold that for like a second. Yeah. Okay, ready? I'm ready? Um, I'm, I'm doing my best to stay out of his light also. So Yeah, I'm getting um, it's gonna take me a second, so bear with me. Just sure. pose and stay for a second. Oh I'm sorry. And the higher my yeah. Okay, um, Rolling, action. Right. Rewind it and bring it back. Right. Super slow. Light too much, but it's still good. Okay, let's do it one more time. Let's get him uh, finishes. Let's get you to step forward so you can always feel the light on your face. And I'll make sure that I stay behind. Am I altruistic? Yeah, it's great. And, and even more intensity. Altruistic both. Brigand, you know? <laughs> peasant. Hmm? You say peasant? Yeah. No, no, no. So, you know, What's so, a brigand? so uh, it's it's like a thief. Oh. Yeah, okay. like uh, it's it's uh, it's like an old old timey way of saying like a like a scoundrel thief. Oh. So like um, so like I would I would uh, because <clears throat> what you think comes through on through on the camera too, you know? Like literally everything comes through. 
So that's why photos are like, you know, good photos, they, they, they can steal souls. So all those dots are super important. Okay, so we're here. Let's just get the end pose real quick. Is, how, is it, how's the light on his face on him? Good. Okay, so let's only rewind slightly from here and then Tai Chi style coming down super slow. Inhale, take a deep breath. And then autumn full camera? No, we need the phone up. Oh. And needs, since this shot, oh. um, we need the phone. His shoulder is already out of frame. Right so now. what do we do to get him in frame? Does he have to walk? Um, we need the phone. His shoulder is already out of frame. Right so now. what do we do to get him in frame? Does he have to walk? Okay, let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. Do you, do you feel like you, 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 you want to hit it again? Okay, cool. Last time, we got this. On a really good job, I would, if you can, slightly higher angle. Just slight. Okay. Maybe five degrees slight. Okay. Can you guys get in the starting pose that really helped? For the sure. And I'm just checking my finger for his light. Phone up. So let's drop that down just a little bit. The, yeah, thank you. There we go. Great face. Closer to your body, just a tad. The phone. Okay. And rolling. Inhale up. And pull. So Tai Chi slow. The phone position wasn't as good on this Let's phone. do it one more time. Okay. His face is fantastic. Okay. And the phone position, you mean like hitting it and posing right the end, here? The end pose was too far yeah, off. Yeah, how about this part? Because that's what we need. This is the part. That part we got. Okay. Let's cut it. No. Okay, let's do it one more time. Ready? Are ready? Let's go. No. no. Here's the second to last one. Oh, your face is great. That's I actually think this one's great. That's like really smooth. This is great. I think we got it, guys. I think we're done. Thank you guys so much. Experimental. Let me stop this live stream. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Thank you guys, man. We need more heroes, guys. Come on. Oh, that's on. right. JusticeForHire.app. Justice for Hire. That's our show. Again, martial arts show. Anyone can join. Vintage is one of our day one heroes from New York. We're in LA right now. AK Wonder. And you guys know me, uh, Jan, aka Hero Zero, aka Coach Jan on my Tai Chi channel. So thank you guys, as per usual.
and I'll be posting um, reposting this on my YouTube channel. I've released three videos a day on my YouTube channel, so uh, uh, it's, it's really going very well over there. And um, but please follow on TikTok. Please follow on YouTube at Janice Tai Chi. Follow Justice for Hire. Please check us out at Justice for Hire on TikTok and on YouTube and on Instagram, etc. So uh, we're going to have a lot of really cool stuff coming out this year. We already started. We did our first golf event in Florida in January. So um, more to come. Love you guys. Have a great night.